Hey there, welcome to this week's episode of 180 in 180. Uh, It is Good Friday, uh, and so right in the middle of Holy Week, Easter is just around the corner, my favorite day of the year. Uh, And I just wanted to to share one thought on that. There's so many things that uh, pastors can talk about, any of us can talk about uh, when it comes to Holy Week and Easter and Good Friday. Uh, Why is Friday good? Uh, What does uh, Monday, Thursday mean? All those things like that. For me, the thing I'm focusing on this year is the unexpected quality of something that has become so expected for so many of us. Uh, Easter is something that even if you're not a Christian, everyone seems to know about. Uh, Not everyone observes, but you see it uh, advertised. You'll see all kinds of emphasis um, talking about Easter. And there are so many things that are expected when it comes to that. Uh, It's expected to have an Easter bunny or an Easter egg hunt. Uh, It's expected that a lot of people will go to church, uh, which is fantastic. Uh, It's expected that not as many people uh, will go uh, to uh, Good Friday or Monday, Thursday, unless you grew up in a traditional church. Uh, There's there's just a lot of expectations. And when you go to that church on Easter Sunday, there's probably expectations of what you want to see there, uh, what might happen there. Again, it becomes just kind of an expected holiday. And that's really a shame because this might be the most unexpected uh, event that has ever happened. See, what we see tonight actually is, is incredibly unexpected as well. We're going to see a king who gives his life for his people. We're going to see the creator of the universe not fight back, not stop his own march to the cross. And, and then we're going to, to move from there with, uh, again, an incredible, unexpected ending where the Son of God dies. We're going to move from there to Easter to the most incredible, unexpected thing imaginable. And that's the thing. Jesus had talked to his followers about this time and time again. For three years, he had been telling them that he was going to rise from the dead. But no one expected it. No one really believed that it was going to happen. That's just the thing. For us now, today, in our day, that's we know the end of the story. Spoiler alert. We know that Jesus uh, isn't in the the grave. We know the tomb is empty. And so we kind of take it as this expected thing. This year, I would really encourage you to think about how unexpected that was for his first followers and quite honestly for us. That someone would love us so much. Every single one of us, that he would go to the cross, he would die a criminal's death, only to rise again, to free us, to live with him for all eternity. It is an unexpected gift, one that we should never, never take as expected or for granted. I hope you have a blessed Easter. We'll see you back here next week.